listening to and watching Vanilla TV with Arx and Beta on the stream. Comedian, <laughs> comedian running the stream. Arx and Beta doing the commentary. Granary, season 11, E2F2L, Yo Yo Tech vs Carnage. And uh, <laughs> Valve making <laughs> the game. Um, spectators, here we go. It's Arx taking you to middle. Okay, demo men have come in. One demo choosing to go up through the top, and that is uh, Kadus. Two scouts also going up there with a double pistol tactic, which can actually, if they connect a lot, it can deal a lot of damage. However, we do have Linus jumping over to try and get the medic, actually. He was um, killed by a Radiator there. Um, I think... Uh, you know what, I'm, I'm a little bit lost here, so I'll just follow Radiator as he jumps up, trying to take down a soldier who's retreating, and Yo-Yo Tech having to fall back with just their two scouts and a medic. Time has been added. Yeah, actually, better positioning by Carnage compared to Yo-Yo Tech. Yo-Yo Tech, I think, in my opinion, went a little bit aggressive. Um, that's fine, they did lose the players. Most importantly, Admirable went down as well, so in fact the sucker stayed up if I'm wrong. I, I must be yeah. right, Arx. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just need to do hard reload scheme because I can't see anything at the moment. Sorry, but, I, um, I think what happened was um, the two Yo-Yo Tech soldiers were so focused on killing that medic that they sacrificed two soldiers for a medic, and I don't think that was a great choice really. I mean, yeah, they have their Uber, but they've lost ground, and the Uber's actually been used. They haven't really got anyone pushing. Demo Man just jumped in now, but I'm not sure if he's going to be able to kill anyone. He's surely going to have to pull back with this. And that's going to swing the uh, Uber advantage massively into Carnage's favour. Yeah, um, it did get forced, so that was great play by Carnage, really. They are going to have to pull all the way back into that inner point. Is people getting, are people getting around on the right? They are. So it's Demo Man actually through um, the little gap. But they're in, they're in on the ramp room. They're in on the, the left side. They're in the garage. I mean... They've fallen back through. They've ubered very, very early. Was that forced? It must have been. Quad goes down in the meantime. No one's getting time on point at the moment. It's just a scout. And as as, as ubers him, Carnage losing quite a few players. I expect Yo Yo Tech might push back in here, Arx. Well, that's it. I mean, they've lost three players. They still have a demo man alive, but uh, the demo man of um, Kadus has already got the position where I think pushing is going to be impossible. Um, they're trying to just spam a bit from the garage, but yeah, they have to surrender this point. And Yo-Yo Tech are going to have Uber. Maybe they'll just push and carry this momentum. They have a soldier outside. They won't need to use their Uber coming out of here, but they might just want to make a push straight into middle. They are a soldier down, though. Um, but they might lose a scout here. No. Uh, Quad does manage to take down Timmy then. And uh, are they going to make that push? Well, it looks like Carnage are trying to gonna wrap round to the right of them. This could be quite interesting as they both meet and greet in the middle area. Terrible. Both Demo Man went through. Admirable went down in the end. The sucker stayed up. Um, surely Carnage have got to carry on walking through here to get time on the point. And Yo-Yo Tech have fallen back. Um, they are out of the right-hand side. Look, putting a little bit of spam on the point. That's really not going to do much. But it's actually Soji who's gone aggressive. Medic goes flying. He's very, very weak. Quad comes in and finishes him off. So now Carnage must be looking to move forward and capitalize on this advantage but I just realized Ads has only just come back up are they gonna have a real advantage here it's gonna be it's just gonna be close it's gonna be about 15% unless the sucker runs crits yeah that's it uh, obviously they're gonna wait for all of their players to respawn they might even try and peek some players in now uh, well I was gonna say before the medic spawn just to deal a bit of damage um, but they didn't go for that option so instead they're gonna wait for their uber they are gonna have quite a big advantage just looking at that time it's building up quite quick but no it's just being well built the sucker running regular uber so uh it is going to be an uber yeah. versus non-uber as long as carnage pushing pretty quickly. much immediately yeah quickly and we've seen it time and time again and i say it time and time again you know literally at this level 10 seconds 20 seconds that's it <laughs> as anti yeah. says we're pushing top sniper uh, but they're running heavy, Carnage are running heavy, in fact Uber's triggered very very early. Will they be delayed enough? The sucker's still they building will. ever so slightly. Heavy's doing a lot of job, he's taking a lot of the fire, they've lost three players there and the sucker is going to get it and yo, -Yo Tech are going to hold. What I was going to say is that they made the perfect choice having that heavy um, because that heavy was just going to slow them down. With that heavy there they can't really jump over and kill the medic because they'll just lose that player instantly and if the medic escapes then they're a player down. And they've pretty much wasted their Uber. So that heavy slowed them just enough. Because we only talked about a 20% advantage. Um, Pyros wouldn't have cut it. And the heavy was just a perfect choice by Yo-Yo Tech. And they are going to carry forward a lot of momentum here. Um, and, well, they're going to be pushing out to mid. They're going to lose three as well, I think, Arx. Uh, if they want to oh, keep running in place. Yeah, they're going to lose it as well. Anti's fallen back straight away. 
Uh, putting over a little bit of spam, see if you can slow them down at all. A couple of random pipes. You do, do sometimes get quite lucky with those. But um, let's just see if they are able to hold uh, second quite convincingly. Because right now we're talking about a 40% uber advantage for Yo-Yo Tech. And the way they've pushed it's back for now, they, the momentum's with them out. Yeah, it's different when you're pushing this second point. I mean, okay, if you're in the yard, um, you can you can get your medic to escape. But if they get forced out of the yard before the Uber's uh, been triggered, then pushing the next point, the well, they probably won't even need to use their Uber then either because they'll just intimidate the medic. However, they are taking a longer route round. They have pushed very aggressively. They're going to be coming through the little door and probably Ubering their demo man as he goes in. There we go. But the medic does look like he's going to escape. Demo pushing very aggressively, but medic getting a lucky little ride over. Um, Demo goes down, uh, well, Demo for both teams goes down, but yo, -Yo Tech have managed to cap this point. Are they going to push in and force that Uber out? I think that'd probably be a smart smart play uh, to push some players forward. Would you send a like soldier aggressive? To be honest, I would have sent at least two, maybe three of my team in, because they didn't have many players alive to uh, defend their medic. And so you could have probably got them to force that Uber. The medic's got the Uber, so he's going to use it as soon as he's in danger, and your players respawn quite quickly. So maybe they could have done more with uh, that opportunity, but either way they have this ground and well, it's, it's their call to push. Yeah, they're going to come back in. Uber has been triggered. Sticking uh, trap above the point's been spotted. Yeah, that's going to be interesting either way now, because we're going to see Yo-Yo Tech push back in. Uber has been triggered as they walk through the little door. Um, they're running heavy as well, typically running heavy, interesting. Uh, a lot of the players of Carnage got isolated there, and now as the heavy comes around the corner, I think Yo-Yo Tech have got this point arcs, unless they can get some good spawns, but it doesn't look like. Surely they're going to take down this many. It's only admirable trying his best, and in the end, Yo-Yo Tech do take it. 1-0 to zero is the score, but that's taken seven minutes, that round arcs. This is going to be a lot closer than the last match. Yeah, it certainly feels that way so far. Um, yeah, they, they only had two scouts and a medic, and for that to work, they just need to, every shot needs to be a meat shot, and they need to be focusing the same target, so... It was pretty much lost at that point, especially with that heavy alive. Um, he, well, I mean, he, he can take at least four shots on his own. So anyway, we are over on to round two. Both scouts for both teams opting to go up top. And it, actually, this looks like an almost exact mirror. Soldiers jumping now over at each other. And it does look like Boomy came out on top. He's chasing chasing the medic. Who's, where the where is that medic gone? Our oh, medic actually went down. Uh, Boomy did get him. And he's also chasing Demo, who also takes him down. And now we're only left with a uh, Ralliator on there. Demo Man hasn't seen him, but he has now. Soldier comes around the corner and Yo Yo Tech take mid. Uh, actually, Arcadus is there very, very quick this time, Arx. He was there before the two scouts came up on top. He had a sticky waiting for them before he came up on top. And what that allowed them to, they both take quite a lot of damage. Um, they got isolated out quite quickly. They went down. And then Boomy came over the top as well and caused some damage. Uh, I don't even think. Would Admiral, is he going to have it in time? I don't even think he's going to have it in time. If Yo-Yo Tech push very, very quickly here, we could be looking at 2-0 in the space of about 20 seconds. Yeah, but I had a feeling there was going to be that curse when we said this is going to be a lot closer and, you know, slower game. But um, they've come in, they haven't managed to get a kill yet. Their anti is very weak. They've obviously been focusing him. A uh, soldier in the corner is also getting a lot of damage on him. But the Uber's out now and Demoman's cutting off the retreat. Great play there. Uh, by Anti, there's only one demo man sitting alive. Oh, demo man and a soldier. Soldier's over on the point. Scouts clean him up. One more scout. They managed to keep ads alive, and they're going to be pushing back into their uh, fourth point as soon as possible. Well played, Carnage. Great hold, not with their Uber there. Uh, Anti doing a good job, making sure that no one could escape out. Uh, That's what looks fire, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I just noticed that he's uh, just running to the demo. He's just, wow. Oh my gosh, the, I don't know how he didn't get thought, seen the demo, the demo would have thought he ran into those planks. Actually, <laughs> scouts come up behind. Yeah, because the demo man was about to jump those planks and it kind of blocked his jump. He would have thought that he just didn't make it up there. So, But the spy got discovered anyway and um, Carnage are pushing out onto this middle. They really need time on the point though because Yuri Tech are going to be getting the forward spawn. So Quad's not going to be in the fight um, for quite a while unless they cap this. And actually, they're giving them the opportunity for more players to get this forward spawn. Hat's got the spawn. Um, who, who's that? Uh, Bruton might, no sorry, Boomy might also get the spawn. He does manage to get it, he's probably not going to come out, but he could just stay in there for a while. And uh, Carnage going to be pushing this point reasonably soon. I wonder if they're, obviously he's just going to do the whole delay. He, oh, someone came up to check the window, he wasn't seen. Don't know how he wasn't seen. Again, I'm very curious about that. Either way, 
he's, yeah, he's been seen now, so it doesn't really matter. It has allowed them to be distracted a little bit. They are going to push out though. Yo-Yo Tech not hanging around. They do have that uber advantage. Only about 30% now, about 25%. Admirable still falling back. He needs to stay alive here. Hasn't been forced, so we're going to get a little bit of a stalemate situation here. I don't even know who will push here. I guess Yo-Yo Tech being one up, they won't look to push, but... You know, it depends on how confident they are. Uh, but Carnage aren't hanging around, Arcs. They're coming in. Yeah, that's it. It was a smart play by Yoyo Tech. They intimidated them with that Uber advantage just to get yard back. So they're getting some ground for free, basically. Uh, obviously working in their favour. Now, you're right. Uh, Carnage are going to be the ones to make this push. I can't imagine Yoyo Tech going for this. Because uh, if they fail that push, never mind that. Uh, Uber has come in. Weak Scout does get saved for a fraction of a second. Oh, spins round, takes down Hat as well. But, um... The Carnage team, they've got a nice little flank going on here at the moment. They have got Quad coming in behind, who's now shooting up a soldier, and they've got players out in the yard, but they're losing quite a few here. Quad's also probably going to go down. I'm not focusing him, but I imagine being that far behind enemy lines, he's surely got over. No, does manage to survive. But they've lost, well, two of their players, and Yo-Yo Tech... Ah, uh, smart, smart play there by Carnage. They just faint. They're going to push in behind them. Kind of just went to the side and stopped them. But there is a scout over on middle. Is that going to prompt anyone to pull back? Doesn't I would like expect, it is. like surely someone's got to go back. I, I imagine they're waiting for Quad to respawn. There is, no, it's Crouton who actually went respawn, and there's a soldier there, so that's been blocked. The scout has run off. I wonder if that's called being called coming behind him, maybe. Uh, I don't know where he's disappeared to, I'm afraid. We leave that as the other tech look to Uber out. Uh, Carnage have Ubered as well, so I imagine um, the other tech won't want to be looking as soldiers come out the little door as well. Yo Yo Tech doing a good job here, they managed to isolate a few. Admirable goes down, Anti goes down, Soldier's gone really aggressive, I don't know why he did that. He went for the medic, it cost him. Crucium goes down as well, so Carnage have lost four players very, very quickly, and I imagine that's Quad who's sitting on that second point. He does get taken down, Soldier's hit around the corner, and it's going to be six down for Carnage. Yeah, it was, it was actually an awful decision there by uh, Ads and the scout that he was healing. Um, out in that yard because they, they were in safety they could have had an option to retreat but they moved slightly over to the right which just completely isolated them as all the players died and I thought they would have had an opportunity to get out there but with the quicker spawns they are going to manage to hold this mid for at least another 10% of Yoyo Tech's Uber um, they have got it built medics going up top it looks like he's going to go that way but the Demoman soldiers are probably also going to want to be jumping out there comes the Demoman I don't think they're going to have to use their Uber here they might just intimidate them out um, Obviously you have the sucker in a good position up on the crates, he can't really get shot up by those scouts on the ground and the rolling pipes aren't hitting him either. And so Yo-Yo Tech intimidating him out of the middle and are they going to keep pushing? Yeah, they may do. Carnage still haven't got their Uber at the moment. Just approaching 100% now, they're pushing through Little Door very, very quickly. Fortunately Carnage do have their Uber now, so it's going to be Uber versus Uber meet and greet at the Little Door. Neither team coming up really at the moment no not a lot of spam nothing going on in the end it's Sabozo so goes down oh, he's the only one that's gone down now the sucker goes down and the hat goes down so that's the medic down for take and imagine they're gonna fall back out well here's the thing he went down as well they're lacking the spam they've just got that soldier dealing the splash damage there and he's up against it. if he goes down as well lucky reality uh, reality takes him down a crouton cleans out some people outside so they do have a scout who's gonna get a lot of time over on this midpoint but you do have a medic and a scout who spawned they might push in to try and uh, see if they can block this, but um, it was briefly sure a wipe actually. Oh, it's very, very briefly a yo yo tech wipe. We didn't really see it, but it has allowed um, the Carnage team to push back out very, very quickly. And that yo yo tech are just holding their second point out. Just over 15 and a half minutes remaining now. Well, okay, just under 16 minutes remaining. I'm lying. About, about 20 seconds. I didn't call this map to be a tie, so uh... And then I said Golden Cap, yo yo tech to take it. So let's see if it lives up to my prediction. Uh, we do have... Uh, I've forgotten their name, Carnage. Carnage, Team Carnage, uh, pushing forward now. They've got a couple of players spamming into the garage. It does look like a soldier is going to be going off on top. Um, and they go now, they have popped their Uber. Yo yo tech don't have it yet. The demo man also looks like he's going to go down. He's jumping around like crazy. Medic was going to come in and uber him but he didn't get that opportunity in fact he didn't even have the uber there's a soldier focusing him down um only linus is spawning but he's not going to be enough and carnage take the second round one one the all, score all from that poor push onto the second really in the end 
uh, that cost him what three points? Medic! Yeah, it's Granami is one of those maps that can do this to you really. Um, it can be very unforgiving when once you've got an advantage because just small choke points. You know, you either make a stand and risk losing all your players, or you uh, just keep falling back and falling back. And now, so we are on to round three, going on to the midpoint. Again, Demo Man, um, oh, Anti took quite a bit of damage, but so did Kader, so the Demo Man both weak here, that means the Med is going to be tagged on, so we can expect the Soldiers to go down quite early here. Um, it does look like a lot of players are focused down, Carnage coming out on top, but they have lost their Medic, only Quad, only Anti remaining now, and um, he's going to fall back and pro possibly set up a little hidden sticky trap. Yeah, quite messy approach by both teams in the middle there. I'm not really sure of how Yotech won it. Uh, both demo men taking a lot of damage at the beginning of that. And as I said, that did force the soldiers to go a little bit more aggressive and target onto those medics. And in the end, it was uh, Amrabal who went down. And Yotech now have that advantage as they approach to Carnage's second CP. They're, they're defending quite... Obviously, they're going to be defending, defending very defensively, Arcs. They need to build very, very quickly, though, or otherwise... We're going to see them walk in through this garage area on the left hand side. I, still called garage, right? Yeah, a lot, I mean, a lot of teams have opted to do this this kind of push. I'm surprised. There we go. They are they are pushing. Nope, they're not committing to it. A lot of teams decide to just push these two points at the same time. Um, just continue pushing because they're going to chase the medic anyway to try and force out the Uber. You may as well get your whole team pushed forward. Um, they didn't opt to do that. They opt to just take it a bit slowly. But now. Carnage are going to have bars. Surely they're going to want to push out of it. Zavosai was actually running Sniper. So maybe not the best decision there because he's one of the soldiers and I think a soldier is probably needed if they were going to make a uh, push out back to their second. Ads goes down. Ads goes down to Tivik who I believe jumped out the window or something and that's the advantage gone. Yeah, would have been very, very brief. Um, I expect Yoyotech to be pushing quite quickly now. We do just have uh, around 13 minutes remaining now. Still time for Carnage to still get back into this game. It is one all. They are taking their time though, Yoyo Tech. Here we go. So they do just have Uber. Maybe I wasn't. I thought they had Uber a while ago. See if the Uber's early. He does Uber early because they have adds his only just back up now. 10% at the moment. Quad and Crouton going down very, very quickly. And Yoyo Tech all over the point. Only the soldier of Radiator left at the moment. He goes down as well. 2-1 the score with 12 and a half minutes remaining. Still open game, fair game, Arcs? It very well could be, but uh, yeah, Carnage just, they need, they need a confidence boost, really. They need they need a good uh, result on this midpoint. Get their uh, heads back in the game and think, look, guys, we can we can crush them on this round. And then, then it's an open game, but, I mean, Yo-Yo Tech probably going to come in with a very aggressive round here. Um, demo men. Also taking a bit of damage again by Parpel. Oh, Scout has pushed really aggressively. He really wants Kadis down and Quad and Anti combined managed to take him down. At the same time, um, Zabosai goes down. Linus is also going down and actually half of the fight is over just one side. Yeah. Um, over of the crates and they have managed to force out the Yo-Yo Tech team. Well, one soldier decided to come back in. I guess he just wanted the health pack or something. Why? You've got a medic there. He's got next to no health. He does manage to grab the health pack and he's, he's going for a jump over onto the medic. Does manage to take down one of the soldiers, but then the uh, crate is on landing from the air shot that Rallyator got on him. So Carnage will be pushing forward with well an Uber and momentum. They will hold second. Yoyotech will hold second. Cadus went down very very early. I'm surprised they're not trying to at least put some spam down on second. Never mind. Uh, I guess they should. Oh, here they are. They have Uber. Here we go. So they are going to come and Uber. It's too early. I think that's far too early, but as it's retreating, he still needs to stay alive. He's trying to stay alive. Well played, admirable. Holds on to that Uber. And that does mean now that Yo-Yo Tech are in a little bit of trouble as to holding this second point and their last point as well. What Carnage really needs to do, ideally, is to get in now, finish off that second cap, second point cap. But there is a soldier of Linus there here. Has been called. Does manage to escape. They haven't used their Uber yet, so we're still going to see Carnage fall in. Fall in and yep, crits. Is that are you assume that's Yo-Yo Tech running crits? As now, Carnage team moving on the left side. There's two scouts, scouts on the final point, and they are going to take it in the end. Crits does nothing to help uh, Yo-Yo Tech hold that last point. Yeah, that was it. That's the round they needed, and this puts the match right open. How are Yo-Yo Tech going to respond to that? They're not going to be happy about it. Um, how that mid fight went. So people respond in two ways, really. You play more defensive or you play more aggressive, and 
I think Yo-Yo Tech had a bit of success when they slowed it down a bit last map, so maybe they'll find that players aren't going to jump over in suicide, or maybe you'll find that they're just going to come in and do a jump, and in goes Cadus actually, double sticky jump, jumps around, but it does look like uh, Carnage have decided to send their medic up top, and the soldiers have failed all their jumps, lost so much health getting up there, it's a really fast wipe. Um, Carnage taking down the whole of Yo-Yo Tech, and actually that medic up on the crates really helped them there, because the soldiers just... Uh, they just missed so many rocket jumps uh, to try and get up there and put some pressure on him, and it just didn't work. Yeah, this is great play by Carnage now. Um, sort of a little bit more closer like we wanted. Crits coming in from Ads and the Carnage team now. Don't connect. It connects with the sucker of all the people. He's managed to connect with the sucker. And in the end now of Aaron Ball, he does get taken down in the end. But he's still... All game four and four at the moment, four and three at the moment. Quad goes down. Anti going very, very aggressive. Are they going to hold it? No, they're not ready. Anti goes down. Anti goes down as well. And the last soldier of Carnage really needs to stay up at the moment. Admirable would have got forward spawn. And he is there with, I assume he's on crits again. Yes, he is. Just seeing if the sucker, the sucker is on actually on Uber. So. This is going to be really close. We're going to be, see about a 10% advantage. Uh, maybe about a 20% advantage for oh, mistake. Carnage. A mistake. Yes, a mistake. Th that advantage, which I was just about to describe to you, has gone arcs. What happened? Yeah, the um, soldier... There was a sticky trap over on the little door, but there was it was a double-layered sticky trap. You had uh, some on the first door and some on the second door. The soldier saw the ones that were visible to him. He went through, um, tried to skillfully navigate around them, but the medic was healing him at the door. Just the medic had all intention of running away and um, just the second sticky trap caught him at the same time that he did it for the soldiers so uh, Ads goes down to that sticky trap and yeah they're, they're, they've thrown it away with that. Yeah, the Oyo Tech now ooped into that yard area to make sure they get that quite easily. Radiator goes down for um, Carnage. That Tivik takes down Crouton. Tivik, Scout's actually got behind. He has did he go behind? No, it's a demo man that actually got behind as well. No, he's fallen back through the little door. Still the two scouts of um, Yo-Yo Tech causing all time types of problem on the far left-hand side. But someone needs to spot them at the moment. And they're just going to wait until that Uber is ready, I guess. I mean, is Adam Brown crits again? He is. Yeah. They need to be pushing back. Yeah, that's that's the problem, though. Uh, the demo man had to go back and get more ammo. Um, obviously, he was spamming a lot through that fight and stayed alive. And... I, I do believe Yo-Yo Tech are going to realise this, but if they if they mess up this crit, then uh, oh, that was a nice little fake shout there by from Yo-Yo Tech that might just slow them down a bit. But they are trying to peak the point. Scout is sitting on the corner; they might take this back. Uh, but they've lost two players, nearly losing three. Um, they've got a couple of weak players. They have still managed to keep their demo man alive. But Yo-Yo Tech have their Uber. They're going to Uber these soldiers through, and uh, Carnage are in all sorts of trouble now. They try to Uber a scout. Uh, medics being chased by two scouts. You got a demo man, even against. Even if you ignore the fact that a soldier and a medic are coming in, you've still got that scout coming in who should, in theory, dominate him. And Yo-Yo Tech are going to take a lead again in this match, 3-2. bit surprised with that, Arx. Uh, I thought they had good positioning. I guess the Yo-Yo Tech was called because they did fall out quite deep, but the uh, wasn't used at all. Soldier, One of the soldiers got isolated at the med pack on the upper stairs area he was against the demo man and one of the soldiers of yo-yo tech and in the end i mean could you have used it there just to get a couple players down delay a little bit more never mind i mean as we approach this uh what's this the sixth round now anti is there a lot quicker this time than cadus cadus went on top he is very weak medic of the sucker sitting up top as well linus goes down for yo-yo tech so that's the first loss boomy goes down as well so it's both soldiers down for yo-yo tech and carnage better play by carnage Hat goes down as well. It's only going to be the final scout of Tivik up who does take Radiator down. Carnage could carry on pushing through here. Someone will need to sort out Tivik, who is still floating around on that right side area of mid. But he does get taken down. So if they can catch, capture this second point very, very quickly, we could be looking at a tie game again, Ox. Yeah, they probably should just push this now anyway, um, assuming that they've got their soldiers there, which they're, they're not quite there yet. Um, here comes the crits. Crits is in there, but Ad's very, very weak. He has managed to stay alive. Demoman's trying to put some pressure on him, but actually it's not going to be enough. Uh, well, five down, six down um, for Yo-Yo Tech, and they've tied game. Five minutes remaining. Yeah, five minutes remaining. Vanilla TV.
You're listening to Arks and Beta, E2F2L Season 11, Yoya Tech and Carnage, and of course the one and only comedian on the stream doing it for you. Um, this is the seventh round. If you have just joined us, first map went to Yoya Tech on Freight 6 3. This is the second map, and we might be looking at a golden cap here. Very well, could be. Uh, both teams are going to want to finish this now. Yoya Tech sending a soldier. I would say sending a soldier, but I don't think he had any idea what was happening there. Got shot over the map and taken down by Zavosai. But um, Yoya Tech had a lot of players on the center uh, center point, but they're all gradually getting taken down. The shotguns are flying. However, two scouts are still on the point against a scout and a medic. Um, medic sitting up top. Crit comes That's out. Crit. Great play, but he needs to connect with those pistol shots before his medic gets taken down. Manages to do it, seeing if he can chase the medic as well. Medic going in for an Ubersaw. I, I think he got the hit, but he still got taken down before he had time to Uber. And uh, great, great play. Very weird round. I, I I can't remember the last time I saw Medic Scout, Medic Scout and a Crit Creek being used, but uh, Crouton well, is going to be pushing forward give it to him. Admirable used it. It was good use. He did manage to get down um, and get that final point. Are we going to see Carnage uh, carry this momentum now? They will have the Crits. Yoya Tech running two NGs. Um, I'm not sure if anyone noticed that. Maybe I'm the first to notice yeah, that. I, I, nah, I, I saw it, but you were talking. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to see where they are. Setting up, I assume one of them is just helping build. By the way, they can't be running two NGs, surely. Yeah, they, yeah, they're, one of them is helping build. Uh, so, Tivik has gone to heavy. I, we can't do draws anymore, new to after all, can we? Nah, uh, you, you get golden caps uh, but reduced points. The winner gets uh, two points, the loser gets one um, for that particular map. Now they're pushing in with this crit screen. Now the sentry isn't is kind of smart against the crits, but the thing is, it's not really going to be of any use here. Um, because it's only going to see people on there. It's already been fired. They know exactly where it is. Now it's it's a question of whether they can pressure and get it down. Basically, scouts are trying to take it turns in peaking the point. But um, Carnage are taking it four to three. Three minutes remaining. Yo Yo Tech gonna go aggressive. Yes, well played, Carnage. This is exactly what we wanted to see. Um, Yo Yo Tech will be still looking to come back and make sure they can take to Golden Cap at the least. If they really want to challenge for any of the top three this season, they need to win this. Both maps, not just the one. The one will not be good enough. And Carnage, obviously, no points on the board so far. They will be, I imagine, a little bit happy to take one map, but that's all they can get for the moment. As we see it now, yo, -Yo Tech... I'm sorry, I've lost some of the yo, -Yo Tech though, players. Good. They seem to be a little bit more together on that push. Hat gets taken down. Boomy goes down as well. Carnage Same losing a little bit more players. Yeah, it's going to be the medic who has crits. Are they going to use it? He has used it. Crits coming in. Uber is there. Uber, the sucker had Uber. Only just adds gets taken down. Two minutes remaining. So we're going to see Yo Yo Tech running two pyros. Um, are we going to see Boomy go heavy? No, Boomy say soldier. So, okay, so right, nah, they were just changing away spawn. From, they were changing spawn. I give them that. I mean, in the end, yeah, in the end, it may come down to ads deciding to go back in. Could he have fallen back? The question, the answer is no. Because I'll tell you why. Because it would have been crits versus Uber. Yes, exactly, Kratz. For you, the person on Source TV said it. Exactly. It wouldn't have made a difference. So what that has meant now is that they forced the Uber. If he can get back alive, maybe get a pick on the medic, there's still a chance. And if ads maybe went to Uber again instead of crits, it will still hurt. And hey, he has. He has. So there we go. Right, okay, so we are going to have Yo-Yo Tech uh, about to make a push in. They're going to do this right on time. It's going to be Uber versus no Uber, but again, the Heavy is sitting up on top of the pipe. Going to take a lot of damage. He needs to just stay alive, absorb as much as he can, which is why he's, he didn't survive as long as he would have liked to there. I mean, well, that's obvious, but Yo-Yo Tech now, uh, they've taken down four of the players. Medic goes down as well. Uh, five of the players down, only Groot's on alive, and Yo-Yo Tech taking this to a tie game, 52 seconds. Um... Well, this this round could just be comical. It could have nothing to it, but 46 seconds on when players are allowed to move, uh, it someone could still win it. Yeah, golden cap. I think it's coming up. Arcs golden cap. Um, are we going to get back into the cycle of every game we do? There's a golden cap, but here we go. So this is going to be the final ball. Are we going to see both of the teams go for everything, all or nothing, or are we going to see one defensive? It looks like. Yo Yo Tech are definitely going all or nothing. Ads goes down. They Carnage might. have lost four players. They might have time to do this here. Anti needs to fall back very, very quickly. Nah, Zebosai did enough just then. 
he killed one of the scouts he needed the two scouts alive so even if they somehow managed to have run they actually probably would have had to leave all of the rest of their team apart from their scouts on last i mean on on mid and uh, then make a push and even then i don't think it was possible it would have been close but I golden cap I thought I think there's golden cap. There's no. I thought there's no draws in E2F2R anymore. Yeah, there is. There is no draws. Um, it will be going to a golden cap. Um, okay. As you carry on speaking, get... then. Oh. Sorry, let me interrupt. As you carry on speaking, I'm gonna get a drink. Okay. Enjoy your drink. Yeah. So anyway, any e 2 f 2 Um, a win on each map gives you three points. Loss obviously zero. Now tie gives you one. But if because there are no ties anymore, um, you go to a golden cap. The winner takes two points. The loser of the golden cap still takes one point as my phone gets a uh, an email. Actually, this is very bad timing because my brother just asked me if I want a McDonald's via text message, and Bait has just left for a drink. So I've got to somehow text and talk at the same time, as I would like a McDonald's. Um, time limit changed to 10. Of course, if you don't know the rules for golden cap round, then time limit 10. Whoever holds middle at the end wins, or whoever wins the first round. So, this will probably be starting reasonably soon. You have been listening to Vanilla TV with Arx and Beta, who's currently AFK. And the Golden Cap will be starting shortly. Yep, sorry about that, I forgot to do the outro. Um, that's my fault for anyone that has just joined us. Either way. Um, comedian, apologies if you're listening. Arx just did an outro, so hopefully, uh, for the viewers on VODs later, you will be able to hear it. Um, he was just doing a little bit of explanations. A anyway, we are just about. Are we ready to go yet, Arx? Uh, hang on one minute. We are. Well, at least one team is ready. Okay, let's uh, let's get it on then. So you are listening and watching to Vanilla TV with Arx and Beta, comedian on the stream. This is Yo Yo Tech vs Carnage Season 11 e 2 f 2 If you have just joined us, this is Golden Cap time on Granary. In the end, it was uh, Freight for Yo Yo Tech six to three, Carnage and Yo Yo Tech four all on Granary, and now this is the Golden Cap, the Golden Decider, and we are live. And here we go, as uh, Yoyotech seem to have a lot of players very, very quickly on the point there. They have a lot, a lot of time. Radiator and Quad goes down. Not looking very good for Carnage on this round. Ads probably need to stay alive. He oh. pulls the crits out. And Tivik goes down. Boomy goes down as well. In the end, that's probably just saved this mid fight for them. A scout is hiding. It's actually going to be... Who is that hiding? It's Hat, who was hiding on the far left-hand side. Only just gets called. Admiral gets taken down by Cadus. Not very good there though. And in the end now, Yo-Yo Tech are going to cap that midpoint. Ads just made up for everything bad that I've said about him in this game with the timing of that crit. Um, literally the second he got it, he popped it as his demo man was firing a pipe, killed two players. I was going to say, uh, the Yo-Yo Tech medic died quite early in that. So while they had the position, a soldier and a scout did jump over and managed to take him down. Um, so it looked like they might have been able to get back into it. Um, then it looked like they were going to lose their medic and demo man to two players, but again, adds with basically mashing his right mouse button is what I'm giving him credit for. Um, so now they are holding on their second point. Yo Yo Tech 95% Uber, are they baiting them outside too far? Um, a few players going down, but actually the medic went down for Yo Yo Tech as well. They're only left with Cadus now, he's trying to jump on the medic, does manage to take him down, but Carnage are going to be able to get players in. They do have their two scouts alive, so they need time on the point. Only two players for Yo-Yo Tech are going to get the spawn and it's going to be a medic and a scout. Um, the other ones it's going to be close but they have stacked the point. Are they or are they not? They are going to get the spawn. Uh, the forward spawn which is actually pretty big. Uh, pretty huge. So um, Yo-Yo Tech will be able to hold their yard. Yeah. Sucker still running Uber. So he has obviously Ad's been running crits for the majority of this map marks. The majority of the game. But yeah. Both, both maps which is which is fine. Uh, we would have had a situation a moment ago of Uber versus Crits, which um, we all know again what happens when that happens. As Cross uh, put it on Source, uh, Source TV earlier on, Scissors versus Rock. That's what it is. Or as, it's or as yeah. Eminem puts it, you only get one shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, most people don't do it. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Right, um, Carnage now on the offensive holding this middle area. 
once again, if you have just joined us, joined us, joined us, can't pronounce my words. Um, this is um, Golden Cap on Granary, Carnage versus Yo Yo Tech. In the end, Ooh. Uber was triggered. Boomy and Cadus go down. Crits was triggered. Uber comes back at them. So Adz is going to fall back very, very quickly. That is quite a big loss for um, Yo Yo Tech there. A couple of big damage dealers. I don't imagine Yo Yo Tech will carry on pushing through. It has allowed for Zabosa to go through. Takes down Lunas. Hat goes down as well. Yo Yo Tech, four players down at the moment. Are we going to see? I'm just finding out where Tivik is at the moment. Did he get behind? No, he didn't. Nah, he's, Sucker he's and Tivik went all the way back. They went all the way back. And now. Carnage are going to have a huge advantage with their crits. This is exactly what Carnage could have hoped for. It is definitely. They need to make that shot count though, because otherwise uh, the momentum. You've got to think because this is Golden Cap. You, the risk of pushing, especially on this map, because if you get wiped, you're losing your second, and you might lose mid. And six minutes remaining, you know, whoever has mid at the end wins the round. So they need to be a bit cautious with this. There is a heavy that's going to absorb some damage, but at the same time. It could also be the worst decision if they tried to, and decide to just hold this. In they come. Radiator gets taken down. Uber's been popped as well. They haven't managed to do anything. And Yo-Yo Tech are going to be pushing him through the top. They've taken down three of the players. They are uh, also going to be chasing that medic with uh, Soldier getting a few hits over on him. Now forward spawns. It does look like Radiator is going to be the only one to get it. In fact, three seconds left. Are they going to... Quad might sit in the spawn if he gets it. Didn't manage to get it. Added an extra seven seconds to his respawn time. Um, so they're not going to have as many players on mid immediately, and uh, my mouse is back. I was just going to say it died, but um, Yo Yo Tech, well, they've managed to get out to their second again with five minutes remaining. Yeah, Yo Yo Tech actually knowing that Ads is um, playing crits, they just sat really aggressive. Obviously, the demo man, what I believe happened was obviously he was holding on to what, powering up a shot. And as they approached, it just went flying past them, basically. And that allowed Boomy to walk right towards Ads and made him fall back all the way back out. This um, is going to be interesting here because there's a scout over on mid. In comes the crit. Uber's been popped all the way back uh, at the choke, and they haven't really managed to take him down. In fact, uh, they, they've managed to take down a few players as they were overextending. They weren't protected by the Uber against that crit, and uh, Anti managed to take down quite a few of the players. And now they're going to be pushing. Only three players alive. Their demo man is as well down, and they've got a full team about to roll in. This could very much be it. We've, we've basically got to hope respawns can get into the battle as quick as possible without the soldier and scout going down. They all go down, so it's now three against five. Um, you've got some bigger classes here, but no medic. Demo man goes down. Uh, we do have a soldier and a sniper. Only the sniper remaining, and it does look like Carnage are going to take this map. Uh, obviously, golden cap, so one to nil, bringing the overall score to, uh, well... One map each, but reduce points for Carnage. Yep, well played, Carnage. This is Vanilla TV with Arx and Peter, E2F2L Season 11. Uh, comedian on the stream, thank you for watching. I guess, Arx, that is, um, that's it for, would you say, Yo Yo Tech's chances of going up the division? Well, uh, what I mean um, by being higher placed in the division is probably the better word, not going up. Well, the thing is, they, they, they've taken four points from the game, so it's not the end of the world, really. That um, they haven't lost it. I mean, four out of six, but I mean, they're on, on ten points, and now they've played the same number as. I mean, well, this way, they're ahead of uh, Epsilon in terms of points. Uh, uh, are they? Well, yeah, because they they would have got four points from that game. Uh, three for the win oh, yeah. and one for oh, the yeah, loss. I guess. Of the, oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah. So I mean, that's definitely at this stage in, in the uh, league. That's one thing they. I should be happy about the question is who they got remaining to play now. I'm just I think they've got Epsilon. Now. They probably have. Yeah, they they might have played some of the uh, the weaker teams. They've Epsilon. Fact, they've played, yeah. And infused. <laughs> yeah, they they basically they they played against Crack Clan. Um, they played against Tryhards, Exotic Island. Um, not sure if that's a draw or a default win or what's going on with that one. Um, so yeah, they've pretty much got hard games coming up. So there we have it. Either way, you have been listening to Arcs and Beta on Vanilla TV with Comedian on the stream. Thank you for listening, and uh, I guess we'll see you all soon. Good night. Good night, guys.